so hello everyone in the last video we just created this basic layout of our project in HTML in this video we'll be just uh, styling all of these elements so before doing that let me just restart it once again it was already restarted so you can see that the last screen which is counter complete is visible right now because uh, the hidden attributes are given to both uh, these screens the first one which is a form and the other one is the counter so let me just uh, add hidden here as well and then I can remove this hidden from the form and if, because I want to style this one first so let me just see the preview so you can see that the form is there now I'll be just uh, linking this uh, style.css file first uh, to start writing some CSS I can just write link here link and then CSS and then dot backslash for a relative route yeah now I can style the things in here so first I will give the body a dark color a dark background color I can just write background color and then uh, for that for the color which I used in the project uh, I'll be writing 4C 4177 so this is the color I used so you can see that this is the background color now I'll be just writing the background image property because I want to give the linear gradient effect because in the real project the linear gradient effect is there you can see that it is uh, just a normal purple color so I want to give a linear gradient color uh, if uh, some browsers doesn't allow this uh, the, the gradient is not allowed in some browsers then it will take this background color which is uh, right now you can see the color so let me just add linear gradient here and then I'll be writing 315 degree so the same degree which I used in the previous project or the pro in the project preview you have seen that already I can give the same color which I used here and I can add a little bit darker color Seven zero, and make it 74% and this one should be 0% so this will be spreaded all over the body and you can see that this gradient effect is there you can also find some more gradients on the official website of egg gradient if you want to uh, see the other gradient color so you can go to this website called egg gradient and in here you can search for any color gradients for example this one if if you want to add this uh, background and copy this color copy CSS and then you can paste it in here so that will be the same thing uh, let me just add some colons here so if I see now you can see that it is a uh, so this is uh, what a gradient does it provides us some cool linear gradients we can use them yeah so let's go with this one which I have already used so then you have to uh, set a font family that I want to set for all elements in there I'll be setting Arial Helvetica and Sans Serif if Arial is not allowed in some browser you can see that font family is changed now I can similarly uh, style this form area which is this one and also this counter because it is also having one card type of view if you see the pre uh, previous video so I can just add form area counter uh, I am accessing all the classes in which I want this same styling or the same background or the white background 
complete the first thing i want is padding of 20 pixel and then i want a border radius of 5 pixel a little bit rounded then i can give a box shadow if i want so i can give a box shadow of uh, this color i think that will be a good one and then i can give a background color background white then i can give width to it the width should be of fit content the content uh, like uh, whatever the content inside that area or inside that div is there so it will automatically get the width to that particular area so it will be a dynamic width you can say it will not be a fit fixed width then i can give some margin let me just show you how you can see that so you can see that it is here so to make it into the center i will be giving some margin left and right so you can give margin left auto you can give margin right auto then you can see it will it should come at the center so you can see that it is coming at the center uh, let me make this thing a little bit darker yeah you can use this one if you want yeah this is looking cool i think yeah now you can give margin top as well if you want so i'm giving margin top 10 percent because it was a little bit down I can give that so you can see that it is coming down now I'll be accessing this these inputs and I'll be styling them so I can access that let me just see yeah I can access these inputs uh, by going into form area so I can write form area and all the inputs which are there and inside that I can write uh, first of all i'll be writing display block i don't want the labels to come like at the left side of this right now the labels are coming on the left side so I, i'm just blocking this element or this input so that this uh, label should come into a separate line so that i'm doing then i can give some margin uh, maybe 15 pixel if I just refresh that, so you can see that uh, it is coming into the next line. I can also give some padding and uh, background color if I want, but background is not necessary, I think. So I can give some padding of 10 pixel, maybe. Yeah, it's cool. Now I can give some margin left and right auto. Oh, margin left should be zero pixel i think because uh, it is taking the margin from all of the places like this gap you can see that this is extra so you can uh, like leave this space and you can give a margin to top and bottom if you want you can leave this margin property which will give all uh, so like all margin it will give to top left right bottom as well but i want uh, left and right bottom uh, margin should be zero pixel so that's why i'm doing that because i don't don't want a margin on the left and right side so the other area which i didn't cover our covered like uh, margin top and bottom that will be covered by this property which is margin so now you can see that it is coming on the same level like this is what i wanted to do then after that i can specify the width if i want so width should be not like this should be a fixed width i think you can give 300 pixel cool it's now looking cool so i can give that this was a thing i think that is fine uh, the font size should i decrease that yeah i think i should decrease that size of font uh, to 10 pixel no it's very very low it should be 14 pixel yeah now I can make font weight bolder and it should not 
be in all over the like containers it should only be in form area so i'll be doing that i think that will be a good good choice so you can see that now it's looking uh, very official and very clean so now let's go to this one the which is a button and we'll be styling that button so for that i'll be just accessing the button not uh, i'm not creating any class or anything because i want all the buttons to be of same stylings like you can see that all the three buttons i want all of them to be styled uh, like each other so that it looks great so i don't have to repeat them i'll be just writing button i'll be accessing all the buttons because there are only three buttons here so i'll be doing that so first of all i'll be giving some background color of blue and i can change the color of blue to a little bit this one i can give some width to it width should be of 100 percent of the area and then some padding of 10 pixel i think and some border should be removed and then i can give the text color to be white let me see that okay it's cool uh, if i do font weight bolo will it look good yeah i think so yeah it's looking good i can increase the padding if i want 15 pixel will be a nicer one yeah so it's looking cool also i can give some uh, font sizing if i want for example font size should be 16 pixel because in here i've set 14 pixel so it should be bigger than that so uh, the user can easily see this submit button or the text over that so 14 pixel 16 pixel is right i think so that i wanted to do also if i want to make a uh, little bit rounded the, these corners so i can add the border radius property so that will look also good if i add that so let me just add five pixel to the borders of uh yeah it's looking more, more cool button or very uh clean button you can see that let me just add an add a hover this is a sudo class this will trigger when uh, whenever the mouse is over the element so when we are doing on the button so whenever i hover the button over the mouse then over the button then this styling will be activated so i can just change the background color to a little bit darker so i can use the same blue color and i can now go to the dark area okay click on this icon the style icon yeah okay why are you not coming yeah okay now go to this one a little bit darker should i do that yeah you can see that it is a little bit darker whenever i'm hovering over that button i can also change the cursor to pointer so it looks like an activity or a dynamic button yeah so this cursor will change the mouse icon to this hand icon so that's what we are doing then i can go and style the other area i think this is looking cool if you want the other styling or the different styling you can go to that you are, you are free to do that let's hide this element now or this div now and focus on the other one which is actually our counter so if i see that where is that okay still it is hidden so let me just remove this hidden and if i see that so you can see it is there and it is already styled uh, like the basic styling is there because we have covered that like the background white color is there and this button is styled let's just add this uh, what is called this ulli so we'll be adding that so i can 
first of all uh, style these ul allies so i can do that i can use the ally after the first one yeah i can use the direct ally because only one ally is there so i'll be using display inline block font size i'll be giving so maybe 30 pixel because it was very uh, like these icons like these will be larger you know so that for that we are doing so we'll be using that and we will be setting list style type to none list style type to none and then we'll be using padding a little bit padding over that 10 pixels so the gap should be there and i can write text transform so to make it all uppercase then we can give a color lighter than the black or black is also looking fine but i want a little bit dim you can see that it, this is a little bit dim so that's what we are doing so this we did and now we'll be accessing this pan so to like make the elements block block and then i can give the font size a little bit less than that or anything or less less let me make it 80 pixel uh, greater than that so it is 30 pixels so it will uh, this days will take 30 pixel and then we are accessing this pan so it will take the uh, 80 pixel font size so let me just save it and show you what uh, what is the preview now you can see that also i can just make all of them into center so i'll be doing text align center because that they are coming yeah now it's looking fine and more cool also this title should also come at the center so let me just access this title what is that a counter and then h1 i can access that as well so the class is counter and then the h1 i can make them text align center if i want if you want to increase the size or anything you can do that if you want so i think this is the st this is the final look this counter should have let's move to the next area which is completed like the completed area so the completed area will do that inside the next video i think this is getting a little bit longer so we'll do that inside the next video or you can see the styling part too we'll do that inside that so let's meet in the another video with the remaining part which is this complete screen we'll be styling this screen inside the next video thank you for watching let's meet in the another one